Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanna go over how we make podcasts for our clients. Now, this is a simple strategy that I've implemented with loads and loads of people because so many people overcomplicate the sense of a podcast and this is why I wanted to show you today how to do it through Zoom. So there's gonna be a couple of things you're gonna need. I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna to have to come this way. But the first thing you're gonna need is a laptop. First thing you're gonna need is a laptop. The second thing you're gonna need is Zoom. And the third thing you're gonna need is somewhere to distribute the content, right? So we're just gonna use YouTube for now. Um, and of course, you can distribute the content wherever you want, but this is where I'm gonna advise in this video. And this is what we do with most of our clients. So all you're gonna need is the laptop and then you're gonna need the application Zoom. And of course, you're gonna need somewhere to distribute it. Usually we start on YouTube and then we break this big podcast episode down for Instagram, Facebook, and of course, some people like to also use Twitter. But then what this is basically gonna do is when you start distributing it to all of these platforms, you're then gonna push them back to the long form video on here. And YouTube is basically gonna be your hub for everything. So all we need you to do is with your laptop, record the Zoom session. What you're gonna do is you're then gonna invite your guests. So let's just put up here, guests. Excuse my writing. Guests, you're gonna be the host. The host is you, right? You're gonna be the host and you're just gonna invite these guests into these Zoom calls, into here. You're gonna hit the record button and then we're gonna use that footage and put it into, into your YouTube stuff. So that's just very basically how we're gonna do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna jump onto the laptop. I'm gonna show you exactly how you're gonna do this A to B, start to finish. So if you watch the channel, you'll know that this isn't my typical desk setup, but that's also why I wanted to make this video at this point is because people like to overcomplicate this stuff, but you can see I'm literally on some shaky little table, my laptop and literally like a 20 pound mic. You don't need some super expensive mic. You don't even need a microphone to be honest. Even if you have Apple headphones, you can plug that straight into here. Um, because also like the people you're interviewing probably haven't got like a, a mic as well. So I definitely recommend to tell the person you're interviewing to put some headphones in as well, just cause it's gonna take a lot of the white noise out of the videos. Um, but nice and simple, I've just got a, a little microphone like this. Uh, and then I'm gonna jump into my laptop and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. So Zoom is this little app down at the bottom here. Um, if you literally just go on to Google and type in Zoom, you're gonna come to this here and you can literally just go straight to download. I'd always recommend downloading it. However, you can uh, use it from uh, the, you know, like your browser, but I'd definitely recommend downloading it. So once you've downloaded Zoom, you're gonna just open it from the bottom here. It's gonna open in a tab because you need to log in. And I just hit open with Zoom. Uh, you can sign in via Facebook. So it's pretty simple. You don't even need to make an account. You can just sign in with your Facebook account. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be joined by this screen. So you've either got new meeting, you've got join, schedule and share screen. So depending on, you know, what I like to do is I just like to arrange the time with them using like my booking form. So they would say, for example, it's about 10 to three right now. So you can either schedule it and we can put, uh, let's say Sam's interview, for example, Sam's interview, and you can see that I'm just gonna schedule this for three o'clock and then you can schedule it and actually send that straight to them. What I typically like to do is just, you know, tell them that I'm gonna send them the Zoom link five minutes before, <coughs> excuse me, um, set, set, tell them that I'm gonna send them the Zoom link zoom link five minutes before we are about to you know kick off the interview and then what i would do is literally just come in and hit new meeting so there's one thing that you need to sort out before we start this whole recording process and that is uh coming into your preferences and just making sure everything's good right so if you have uh built-in output that's obviously cool uh, you can test the speaker and then you also want to test your built-in so you can see i've got my mic here <laughs> and it's just uh testing the mic there but just make sure everything is done because trust me if you record something and then you get the recording back for it and there's no audio you're going to be gutted so just make sure everything's in order for that first 
And then another thing I would do is go down to the recording tab and you can actually see where I choose to put my videos after they're recorded. So what you can actually do is, um, yeah, you can see it's got all of this other stuff on here. So you can choose a location to save recordings after it ends, so on, so on. But I've actually got mine here. Um, and you can just choose a new location but I've got mine on my hard drive so no matter what I'm gonna have the space to save you know that video we've recorded so very very simply we've now got everything set up we know that it's gonna be recording good now we're just gonna use this uh, as like a as an example I'm gonna start a new meeting let's say we're about to we're about to interview someone we're gonna hit new meeting we're gonna join with computer audio and we can turn our video on just to show you straight away and this is at the point where i then invite my guest in so i just come down to invite i would hit copy url i typically use whatsapp or emails so you can just come on here straight away for example um, and i've just got off the call with chris so i could just literally send them that invite link and then they will join into the zoom call so what I'll actually do, just to really give you a good example, is I'll just load Zoom up on my phone. And I'm guessing I can do this. Uh, I'm just going to load Zoom onto my phone, and then what I'll do is I'll actually invite myself, just to really, really break it down and show you how easy this can be. So, messages. <clears throat> And let's send that to myself and on my phone I'm now just going to join this zoom call and you're going to see I'm going to I'm going to obviously come into the call you can see it makes a little ding I'm going to I'm going to come into it <laughs> so mute my mic and mute this other one so I'm going to mute both of the mics for the time being, obviously. Uh, make sure when you're recording the podcast that, you know, you haven't got you haven't got everything muted. You've got all everything, you know, the mics on, the cameras on, etc., etc. You can see I'm now down here. And if I have a look on my computer screen, you know, you've then got your guest on and you can start your conversation. But I would also suggest hitting gallery view because this way you've then got you me should i say the host and then you've also got on this one here you've got your guest so you can see both of you when you're talking um which is really powerful so also a big thing obviously make sure that your guests are in a position that they want you to be videoing of course if you've invited them into a podcast they should be somewhere where you know the lighting is good etc etc of course there's going to be cases where the lighting is not great so just try and play with that and obviously as you progress and make more and more of these it will get better and better um, but nice and simply what i like to do just as we basically have done on this call is uh, just get to know the person a little bit before and then i would basically say okay so we're going to start the podcast in two or three minutes i'll count count us down to starting and then we can go straight into it I'm going to ask you some questions. You can go over what the podcast is about. I'm guessing they would have seen previous episodes at this point if they've come on as a guest, but it's nice to build up a little bit of rapport before you actually jump into the podcast itself. So now all I would do to start the podcast is I would say, okay, well, if it's okay with you, we're going to get straight into the podcast in a couple of minutes, if that's okay. And then they'll be like, yeah, that's cool. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So... <clears throat> I usually have like a little intro for your pod podcast. Mine is very basic, which I'll show you as we're gonna do it now. So let's go straight in and let's record it. So we're gonna start the podcast in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Design of Future podcast. Here I've got myself, Ollie, as a guest, as an example for recording podcasts on Zoom. So, and then we can obviously get into your questions, get into the show, get them to introduce themselves, etc., etc. I'm not going to tell you what to include on your podcast because everyone's podcast will be different. This is simply showing you how to record it. So, go on with your podcast, however long it's going to go on for, and then sign it off. So, thank you guys for watching, it means a lot. So and so, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you're getting them to do, you know, your call to action, and then just come down and hit stop. So then when you've stopped it, you'll see the recorded file will be converted into an MP4 when a meeting ends. So 
obviously then you could you could stop it and then say you know thank you for coming on to the podcast so and so blah 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 um very simple but then what that's going to do is it's then going to save a file you can see here it's then converting my file and it comes into here obviously you see that I set where it's going to be put in the last clip so once this is now um, been converted into these files right you then have an audio file but I obviously muted <laughs> I muted my stuff because we had people on there so you have your uh, audio file and you also have your video file so the video file is what I like to work with um, if you have an editor or someone that does your podcast then you can basically just send that video to them and they'll do all of the hard work of editing the video and publishing it to your sites that's also something that I do here so if you are interested in that feel free to just reach out to us um, but basically guys that is it it's so simple to get on zoom start making connections start interviewing people experts you know, and just putting that content out there so many people come to me and say they want to start a podcast but a physical podcast um, which I I'm totally for but this way like you can literally stack those interviews up and up and up and up and up and get so much content out there rather than having to arrange for someone to come meet you at a studio to record an hour said session and stuff like that and then it's gonna take you hours to record it and it's gonna take you an hours to edit it this way is so much simpler and then you could bang you know however many of these out a month and then have one physical uh, podcast a month as well that's what I would suggest so yeah once you get that video send it over to your editor or whoever's doing your podcast for you and then you basically have it my one tip would be to repurpose that content as well so say for example you record a half an hour podcast definitely then get it broken down into like 30 second to a minute clips for instagram and, and facebook because you're then going to have so much more content because if you record a 30 minute clip i can almost guarantee there's 30 seconds within it that's really interesting and if you put it onto instagram someone sees that 30 seconds and you say watch the full video on youtube i can almost guarantee some people are going to convert from that and they're going to go and watch the whole episode hope that helps you guys and i'll see you in the next video